Hey everybody, Matt here with Livid Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the DS1 controller to adjust the parameters of a soft synth. This could be during the sound design process or for an automation or even for live performance. So let's get to it. I have Pro Tools open and for this example I'm going to be using Massive from Native Instruments but of course you can use any synthesizer. In order to map a parameter, you right click or control click on the parameter in the synth. You select MINI LEARN. And then you move the control on the DS1. Now the control is mapped to the DS1. You can map this any way that you like. You have the lens pack to color code your mappings so they make sense to you. Okay, so let's make a sound. So by default, Massive has three oscillators set to square wave and sawtooth wave. And I'm going to switch oscillator 2 and 3 on and keep these waveforms and also the fourth oscillator here which is noise. So I'm going to turn up the volume here. I've got the oscillators amplitude mapped to faders 1 to 4 and as you can see we have sound. I'm going to turn off the noise just for now. So, starting with oscillator 1, I'm going to slightly detune oscillators 2 and 3. So now we get a bit of phasing. Of course you can adjust the wave table position if you want to as well to change the tone of the sound. And intensity to make it louder or boost it. Okay, so I'm going to send oscillators 1, 2 and 3 to filter 1. And let's put a low pass. And I'm going to send the noise to oscillator, sorry, to filter 2. And let's change it to a better sound. Okay, so this is the noise here. Add a low pass. Adding oscillators 1, 2, and 3. Okay, this needs a reverb. So, effect 1, let's put some reverb. Effect 2, let's add some Dimension Expander. So let's see. I think I might change the second filter to a high pass actually. I think now we can add some modulation. So let's take LFO, the first LFO and put it on the K1 
cut off frequency for filter one. LFR have mapped up here. thing I want to try is looking at the envelope. So envelope 4 is mapped to here. So I can easily adjust the parameters of this envelope to shape the sound. So if I want it to be like a lead sound I can lower the attack time Sound, I can increase the attack time, increase the release time, and all of a sudden it becomes more of a ambient pad. The DS1 allows for great flexibility and control. For more information on DS1, please visit liveredinstruments.com.